Hello out there and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. So happy to have you back and keep on improving your experience with Apple Music using yup, Marvis Pro, link in the description. Super quick video today. I'm just gonna share a couple tricks to make duplicating rules and settings a lot easier. Now, one often requested feature from Marvis is some kind of syncing feature across devices. I personally use my iPad for most of my music listening during the day, and then I use my phone for situations when I'm away from home or need to throw on something quickly, maybe for a get together of some kind. And unfortunately, Marvis doesn't have a built-in sync using iCloud. However, in just a few taps, you can get most of your settings from one device over to another, as well as back them up in case something happens to your device. Now, I personally haven't backed up my Marvis settings in probably longer than I should have anyway, so this video is actually a good excuse to take care of that. Uh, so we're going to kick things off in the settings section in order to do this. I'm clicking on the three bars up there and then clicking on settings down here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to advanced and then go all the way down and there's an export settings section right here. So let's click on that. And there's a number of different ways that you can export this file. Now, because I want to copy my settings over to my phone and I want to back it up in iCloud Drive, I'm going to click on Save to Files right here. Uh, I've heard that you can airdrop the file to your advice as well. So keep that in mind if you want a really quick way to transfer everything over. But since I'm going to try and back it up and make sure that that is in a secure location, I'm going to click on Save to Files and I'm going to save it into my iCloud Drive. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my phone and I'm going to head to iCloud Files. Now I just navigated to the folder where I have it. Um, but one really important little detail that I found in the past, maybe this is different now, but definitely about six months ago, this was causing some issues. You'll want to make sure that the file is downloaded before clicking on it for some reason. So I actually hold down on this and then you'll have a download option on there if it's still in the cloud, which it usually is if you just saved it from your iPad. So you'll click on download and then once that file is downloaded and looks like mine where it doesn't have a little cloud download thing, um, you should be able to just click on it. It'll go over to Marvis Pro and if you click on import, all of your settings should be matched up over here. And I'm so glad I'm doing this right now because I made some changes on my iPad and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now I've got that mirrored on here as well. There are a couple caveats that I've noticed. Uh, for some reason, genres don't seem to be saved to this file. I used to set my genres up in a really special way, so just keep in mind that you might need to redo those. I've created kind of a workaround by creating this home section with the genres instead. Um, so I, like I mentioned in one of my prior videos, I picked a number of different um, genres that I have mixed in there. And I have these sections created, and this way I don't have to worry about it. Let's take a look. Maybe genres is yep so you can see that it's just showing um, basically a list of of albums right there which is too bad because i really liked having my genre set up that way but now that i've kind of mixed a few things together i kind of actually prefer it this way and it also seems to copy over so just keep that in mind um, i've also noticed sometimes that metadata in playlists won't be um, exact or things like that they're little tiny things that take two seconds to fix so it's not a perfect one-to-one -one swap Lot, but it sure is going to save you a heck of a lot of work. Now, in addition to copying the settings for the overall app into another device or backing it up, it's also really easy to be able to copy either sections or even home screens, um, the different rules and things you have set up for those too. So to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is recreate um, a 2022 top albums um, thing. I have a, a number of different top albums of the year. I've gone back through 2017. I plan to probably go back further than that. Um, but rather than start from scratch, as there are probably five or six rules, it's actually really easy to be able to um, just take the rules from an existing one and adjust those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new library section for albums. And again, this is every album that I've got from all time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down on the section heading up here and I'm going to click on edit. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a copy settings section. So that's how you could copy an entire section. If you wanted to just copy a set of smart rules, you can also go into here 
and there's these three dots on the bottom right and you can copy those rules. So either way, these would work. Uh, if you copy this section or this spot down here, it'll also copy this information, which can definitely be helpful if you're setting up extended library and you have it shuffled or things like that. So let's go ahead and copy settings from there and we'll head down here, we'll click on edit. And then when you have something copied that's applicable, it'll show paste settings at the top here. So I'm gonna paste those rules in there and then that's gonna be a one-to-one -one reflection of my 2018 top albums, which isn't quite right. So I'm gonna go in there and I'll click edit. My smart rules are gonna match that and I'm gonna take my found sounds 2018 and switch it over to 2022. I don't need this rule anymore because that was just filtering out an album that I added to my library in 2018, but I actually had most of the songs beforehand. And if I filter or if I click back here, then there we go. These are the um, top 10 albums of the year so far for me. Um, and this will just automatically update as songs are added to my library. So really quick way to be able to um, copy settings over like that. And this can be even more important when you are building an entire home section. So I mentioned briefly about how I have different genre sections set up. And these have really kind of complex um, home screens, each of them. But they're all the same with the exception that the backbone playlist for genres is different. So it's like to be able to set this up and do this eight times um, and have everything be the same would be a nightmare. But luckily, um, if you click on the, if you go back to where you can see your home screens like this. So each one of these is a home screen, alternative and indie, heavy, blues, garage rock, etc. If I hold down on the home screen title right there, if I click on edit, again, I have this copy settings section right here. And I can copy that section and I can add a new section and it would be a new home. And then if on this new home, I click on it and hold down until this shows up, click on edit. There it is again, that paste setting section. I can paste that right there. And then I've got a replica of my alternative section. And then what I did basically is if I don't want it alternative, I would have to go on each one of these and just change the backbone playlist from found sounds alternative to let's say, um, I haven't done one for jazz because there's hardly any songs in there, but let's say that I did that. Then this will now reflect um, jazz music instead of alternative. And I just have to do that six times instead of setting up every single one of these smart rules in here. These are all rule groups that would take forever to do. Way easier to be able to just um, quickly copy and paste different sections um, and the settings from them. To remove a section or a home screen, you just hold on it like that and you click on remove and there you go, it's gone. So appreciate you spending some time with me today. Hopefully this will help make it easier if you're creating repetitive mixes, but with different bases in them. I know that it's made my life a lot easier and um, coming up in some of my next videos, I'll show you just really how to kind of take these things to the next level.